Today is a beautiful day, an early morning with a lot of hope in life and expectations that we have. We have one of our best today and is going to share about his own experience. Since his childhood, that as he made a choice, served, and now he's on his retirement. What did it take him to go through the choice he made? What challenges did he go through? And what experience has he gathered? We always say, old age comes with wisdom. And I believe there is full of wisdom that is going to be shared today. I want to welcome you, our guest today. Thank you very much, Father Dennis. My name is Archbishop Peter Cairo, Emeritus. Born at Londiani, <coughs> 24th of May, 1941. As, as I said, that, okay, we, are, we, we, we were 10, and five girls and five boys, but one boy died, the one who followed me. And even they say that even when he, the other boy was born, he was stronger than me. And even my mother hoped that he, I, I am the one who is going to die and my, my brother is going to, or his wife going to survive. But for the other way around. So, coming for example about my name, Peter. <clears throat> my father was a Catholic. And he, as they were instructed through catechesis, that if somebody becomes very sick and there's no priest around, so you can baptize him. So, when I was very sick, at the point of dying, then he baptized me. That was, that's how he gave me the name Peter. But then, the only problem that he never brought the information the, to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the church for registration, I'm, I'm for the recording. So that was very, but I'll come to that later on. <laughs> but the, my father is the one who told me that he, when I was very sick, and you see at that time now, we did not have any priest around all the end at that time. They used to come either from Koru, you know, coming to, 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 to Rundiani. They come and they go back. And then when you become very sick, there's no priest. So they, I'm sure the must have been instructed that if somebody comes very sick and there's no priest around, then you can baptize. Then you bring the information to the parish so that it's going to be recorded. But nothing like that happened. So that's what I wanted to share that I said that, but later on I said I'm going to share what, later on what happened. <clears throat> so then I went to school, to the Township, that's where we started. And then at that time we did not have books to write. We used to use the slate and a piece of chalk. <laughs> In learning A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So that's how, that's how we, we started to see at Londiani. And then from there, I, uh, because now my father as a carpenter, he used to go to different places looking for, for jobs. So sometimes from Londiani, then I went, I went to Jubat, in the primary school. Then from there, it's when I went to El Bagon. Then I, I was staying with my grandparents and my uncle. So I used to walk from Gishagi, to El Bagon, almost, uh, almost, 30 miles, almost four, four kilometers. Go in the morning, I come back in the evening, it was up and down, when it rains, it rains on you, no, no, you cannot be able to change, <laughs> no food sometimes. <laughs> Somehow you are lucky if you are given, you are ready to carry. <laughs> or something, there was nothing, really. So it was really very difficult. So as we continued, we finished study four. And when we finished, we did well. So we, they gave us study five. So you had to go to study five, study six, study seven. During that time, we had one teacher from Kakamega called Roman Machete. And he used to teach us, uh, I think it's the religion, and English. So he used to tell us that even Kakamega, he is aware that they have got African priests. So he said that maybe some of you, one day maybe you'll also decide to become a priest. So the, uh, that, so I kept, kept on, kept on. Then one day, we, 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 because now we are coming from Magishagi to the school, I told my friend, I think, uh, I think one day maybe I would like to become a priest. 
But now it was not very easy. Because when the students, my fellow students, knew that he, he, I, he, I, I decided to become a priest, they were calling me Mobea. <laughs> he doesn't want to get married. <laughs> and now children. So they used to you know, ridicule me. But I, I still, I, I, <laughs> I continued. Then, then, then I had to go and inform my, 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 my parents, my father. Just around 15, uh, between 14 and 15 years of age. So now, <clears throat> I have to share <laughs> my idea <laughs> to my, with my, my, except my father. And uh, even I didn't know how to approach him. But then I said, well, I have to go and tell him. So when I told him, he was not for it completely. So I remember even from El Bagon, we had to go to Molo for games. Then he called some of my uncles to discuss about me, about my vocation that he, Peter once got to the, to the seminary. <laughs> so they, they were all against me. It's only one uncle who helped me and said, let him go. If God has called him, well and good. If he has not called him, he'll come back to us. <laughs> but then still it was a problem because of the school fees. <clears throat> so then, uh, my, our parish priest, Father Cunningham, Bernard Cunningham, he volunteered. That okay, if you go to the seminary, I'll be able to volunteer to pay your school fees. So he's the one who came to my <laughs> rescue. <laughs> so that was around maybe uh, around 1959. So now, I have to prepare now to go. Then, then also, sorry, before I come to that, I have to apply to different places. First of all, I wrote to uh, Kiserian. That's where the minor seminar was, of Nairobi Queen of Apostles Seminary. But the rector replied, said, told me that, no, you, uh, you, your parents do not stay here in Nairobi. I can, we cannot accept you. Then what do I do now? So I said, okay, I try Nyeri. St. Paul Seminary here. Also told me, no, we cannot accept you. Your parents do not come here from Nyeri. <laughs> so he told me, maybe you can try apply to Eldoret, Moise Bridge. So I never gave up. I also wrote. Luckily, I was very happy for the rector. He pride. He said, now you can come. Come and join us. So I was very, very happy. So now, we, so that was 1959. So now we have to go to uh, the minor seminary for more, I started date in Matunda, Moise Bridge, the mother of Apostle Seminary. So we had to go. We take our uh, Matatu to Nakuru. From Nakuru, we take a train <coughs> up to Eldoret. There we had to change. So that I take a train going to, to Kitare. So we had, until it becomes cold at night, you know, at night, then we change. Then we, we took the train up to Moise Bridge, we lighted. Then the, 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 what the, the postal master, the, 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 the one who was the master, and the, the, the wife was very kind. Then from there in the morning, we took our boxes, crossed over to the minor seminary. So I joined minor seminary, my mother of apostles, 1960, in January, instead of the eight. I love your story, yes. and there's something exciting. You know, the other day you gave me this book, yes. Molded for Service. Yes. I realized that you have written about your early experience in school. Yes. About your teacher that you loved so much, <laughs> that he, he really beat you and your hands were sore. Yes. Tell us that story. Why did you include it in your book molded for service? So as I say that we had the, you know, several teachers. And I said about the one who was teaching us uh, religion and English. So this, we had also this one who was teaching us carpentry. But sometimes used to be very, very harsh. <laughs> and the uh, I, I don't know what, what he said. I, I, I don't know what he, I said. Then he told me that I, spoke, I, I told lies. So I had to be punished. So the punish was caning. <laughs> the hands. And even the, at the back. <laughs> so I was beaten so badly. The hands 
and also the bag that even I was not able to sit down. Sorry, yes. and this is what you know. When I read that part of the story, <laughs> yes. you are saying you could not remember what you did. Yeah. How was it in your heart? Yeah. I became so bitter. Uh -huh. I did not feel that I could ever ever forgive him. You have really put it rightly mm. that uh, when you met your parents, yes. your grandparents, yes, yeah. they told you yeah. forget what happened and yes. focus on your studies. Yes. And you went back, really, you yes. said you love geography and yes. history. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And uh, as you made the conclusion that uh, unless we sit and reflect on our history mm. or on our past, yes. we can never grow. Sure, sure. So how could this have affected mm -hmm. you mm. to project you mm. to your future life? Yes, yeah. So, so just as I said, okay, so here you are, I am beaten. I'm very bitter. <laughs> I can't sit down. <laughs> My friends were also sympathizing with me. Oh, wow. You know? Because they say that, at least I, as I said, I never told lies. But then, as, just as you say that, uh, you know, the parents have to encourage that even as also when you go to school and some people are punished. Because I remember even when, in, not only that occasion, if you went back to school, or if you in the morning went to school and you were late, also you are punished. You are given, a, a, you have to take a panga or a slash and you slash grass around the school uh, as a punishment. But I, I think that if, from those experiences, they teach us that I do not always uh, concentrate on the punishment, but you continue with the data say with the study. You continue studying. And it, 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 well, even though it was uh, painful uh, and even, uh, even it was difficult to, for, to forgive. But at least I, I was able to, say, to concentrate on the studies. Then, uh, as I said, that in, uh, we did it for uh, Sarah D4. We finished. And then we continued Sarah D5, Sarah D6, Sarah D7. And then finally, we went to the minor seminary. And uh, we, we, uh, I, I think it was also good to, for my, my, my brother and my sisters and also my friends to encourage me. And especially when I, go, I went and said, to one of my, cl my classmates. I would like to become a priest. Who knows? He said, maybe. God will bless you. <laughs> you continue with, the, with, with that what, what you decide to be in the future. So that, as I say, that uh, it was not very easy even to go to, to say to my parents, my classmates are laughing at me. But still, th that idea persisted. And I still wanted to. And that's the reason why even I, I applied to three minor seminaries to Nairobi, uh, Queen, of, Queen, of, Queen of Apostles. I was told no. Here in St. St. Paul Seminary, they say no. Then eventually, I still, I, I, the, the idea still was, was still in me. So I said, let me also try at the uh, Mother of Apostles Seminary, Matunda. And then when I was accepted, I was really very happy. I love mm -hmm. what you are trying to put to us, yes. young people, yeah. that the life of struggle is mm. part of sure, sure, the sure. process sure, sure. of success. Sure, sure, sure. And what you have rightly said, mm. you mm. never gave up. No. You try to look out the options. Yeah. And that's why when you look at young generation mm. giving up easily, yes. Yes. what do you think they need to know about life choices mm. and uh, situations that they get into? Mm. And I think it, it is good so that at least even when they have all those hard experiences, to have good friends who can also be able to encourage them. So that even when they, they I mean, sometimes if, if I take for example now even in the school, whether you, either you are doing mathematics, or maybe, like, maybe I share about myself now, about now. When we went to the minor seminary, uh, Matunda, they used to tell us, if you fail Latin, we have no vocation. <laughs> so I had to struggle. I was not very good at, 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 at Latin. Sorry. Uh, especially, especially the grammar. You know, it was very, it was very tough, very difficult. <laughs> Julius Caesar. Uh -huh. So it's studying all those, you know, and you have to do it from form 1 up to form 4. Then you, start, you sit for Cambridge. So you are told, if you fail Latin, you're not going over, you're not going to uh, continue with your son to the major seminary. So it was a really struggle for me even, let us say that I must make sure that I pass this subject even if it is difficult. And I did. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. So, so as we start for uh, for our exams, and the, I think we were about um, maybe about fourteen. Those were in form four, and that time you know used to do Cambridge, and, uh, and I think we, we passed. And then when the father rector uh, was asking now who are who are willing to go ahead with the, with the to the major seminary, so most of all those who asked, they said no. I would like to be out, I want to be out, I like to be out. But when the father director called me, I said, no, I would like to continue. Because still, that idea still was still in me, even in spite of all those challenges from my parents, from my friends. Still, I, I, I don't know, I, I just thought that I still want to become a priest. There is something there <laughs> yes. that you have really put, and I, I love it. Yes. The idea. Yeah. And today we yeah. realize that an idea conceived and believed in yes. will come to be realized. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Now, what made you just think that yes. you were meant for priesthood at that early age? Uh, thank you for example. <laughs> I remember now, uh, I had to go and consult now a parish priest. I tell him now, I feel I have a to become a priest. So, do you know, the first question asked me, will you be able to remain celibate? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just said, yes. I don't know, it just came to me. I said, yes. <laughs> Without understanding what are going to be the challenges. <laughs> As I say that, in, when you have, let us say, um, what can I say, something that you want to, you feel that it is a vocation, I think God gives also the graces uh, to be able to meet some of those challenges. <laughs> because now, as Father asks me now, what about celibacy? Are you going to be able to remain without, <laughs> without marriage and the children? And I, I just said, yes, positively, without hesitating. Now, there, Bishop, yes, yes. recently yeah. I had another friend of mine yes. from Kaeti Godfrey, okay, okay. Kamore, who mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. he was also yes. in the seminary around that time. Okay. And you were the one who appointed him yes. to take care of the research about the matters yes. in the Kikuyu <laughs> yes. culture. Yes. And uh, he said the same thing. He mm -hmm. struggled with la Latin. Sure, sure, yeah. And for him, he was told you cannot become a priest because you are very poor in Latin. Okay. And when he, he left, uh -huh. but he went on to study this Latin. Okay. And uh, he managed to love okay. it, okay. even if he didn't become a priest. Yes. Yeah. But there is something yeah. he did share with me. Okay. That in Kikuyu culture, mm -hmm. you have more about chastity mm -hmm. and virginity. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. celibacy yeah, yeah. was not something yeah. anyone was to be encouraged. Yes. Why do you think he expresses this rightly yeah, yeah. and he's, he says what you value yeah. most. I yeah. don't know whether you yeah. are, had an idea of that. Yes. yes, the call to faithfulness. Yeah. That is chastity. Sure, sure, sure. And virginity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was the difference <laughs> or why would the priest think that you cannot be a serpent? <laughs> Because because of our tradition, just as you have said very well, and especially you know that once in the family, you are the firstborn. Or let us say that, let, okay, let, you are the firstborn. And their, 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 what, their, their intention was that once you, you go to school, you finish, then you get a job, then of course you get a, a wife. After getting a wife, then you have children, then you have to name your grandfather, your grandmother, the, the uncle, your aunt. Oh, and that's what to keep the line. And that's, that is very important. To keep, in Kikuyu, Kodua, in Kikuyu, we said Kodua, I mean to name. Because like now, for example, the name Cairo, I'm named after my grand, grand, grandfather, who was the father of my, my father. Then my mother was called uh, uh, Moringe. So one of my sisters is called Moringi, one of my sisters. Then also, my sister, she's also called one boy, who was the, my grandmother. So, 
so for, for us, we as the, the, I mean, in our tradition, it was very important to get married. Then you name, uh, to keep the line. Just, just like Jewish, Jewish tradition, you know, <laughs> you have to keep the line. And that's why, so that's why I emphasize the, the marriage. And this is exactly what I find mm. in the book yeah. written by mm. our first president, mm. Jomo Kenyatta, sure, sure, facing to Mount Kenya, Mount Kenya, Mount Kenya, where he says there mm. were some questions mm. that kids were taught when they were young. Yeah. What is your name? Yeah. Who is your father? Correct. Who is your grandparent? Yeah. Then the, you know, those kind of questions yeah, yeah. were mm. a way sure, sure, that sure. brought history sure, sure, to the sure. lives of the young sure, ones. Sure, 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 sure. So, mm. it was right for the priest to doubt whether you were to yes. be a servant. <laughs> yes. How did that make you feel? <laughs> the courage to, to tell him openly, uh, I think I will, without any hesitation. You start to make key decisions in life. Yes. We first be ready to jump into it. Sure. And we meet all it takes on the way. Sure, sure. I guess that is one of the way we find the gap in the young people. Yeah. They want to be certain of all that is going to happen sure, 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 before sure. they start. Yeah, yeah. And how much can you find at the beginning of any journey? Yes. Thank you for sharing <laughs> us. Now tell us, you have made a choice to become a serpent. Yes. And you have no knowledge. <laughs> Yes. What did it turn to be like? It was not easy. So now the, one of the challenges, as I said, especially in the primary school, my classmates, once they understood that I want to become a priest, as I said, they always used to ridicule me, uh, call him that, uh, that uh, name, Movea, so they all, which was not very easy. Then the other challenge was, <clears throat> when I went to the minor seminary, my neighbors at Moro, Moro Forest, where now we are staying, so they, they, were, they were not as uh, Catholics. So when also, the, the, like, so now that the one of the lady there, she used to say now, you want me to tell me that you're not going to become, to, to get married? Next time when you come, you'll find me a, a brutal girl. <laughs> <laughs> for you to marry, <laughs> when you come for, after your holiday, when you come for your holiday, so so, so it was also a, also a, a big, big challenge. How how do I? And she was she was really tough. Then also the, you know the, the, the other, even the other boys you know bringing girls, but then still have to try to see that how to to be firm, because I still want to be, become a priest. And to be faithful, uh, just it, yes. But then the town, take the the the, the, the vow of uh, celibacy. <laughs> that was something for you, and uh, I guess yes. such a challenge yes. is not easy to overcome. It, it is not. somebody offering yes. themselves to give you already somebody to marry. Sure, you are not alone. Do no. You know what? <laughs> My grandmother did to me sometime. Yes. Yes. She was not also. The Catholic, mm. and uh, whenever I used to visit, uh, mm. Mm. being a firstborn yeah, for sure. my family. Yeah. So on this occasion, yeah. I finished my form four, and yes. I told her, yeah. I'm going to become Listen. a priest. Yeah. But uh, after some times, yeah. she thought that I'm going like the pastor, okay. their pastors do, yeah, yeah, to yeah. go study, yeah. and after maybe six yeah. months or yeah. so, I come back sure, and sure, get sure. married. And Very good. Yeah. So when he has passed, yeah. I'm not getting married, there's yeah. no grandchildren coming yeah. and she said yeah. do you mean that you didn't find any yes. girl to marry in your home yes <laughs> let us go to my church i get you one and <laughs> so this has reminded me what you went sure, through sure, 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 and uh, it's yeah. a challenge to young it's people very big in making choices sure, exactly. in their lives yeah that's right uh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> maybe what do you need to tell them when they are in such a crossroad of making life choices i think it's good for them since now they have chosen let us say, uh, it is the same also with the marriage. Uh, you have to choose only one, <laughs> one girl you are going to get married to. <laughs> and you have to be faithful to her. So the same also with the priest. I mean, when you choose to become a priest, I think through the grace of God, you have to try to see that you, you persevere. Then also you avoid occasions where you feel that maybe if I go to other friends who do not respect my vocation, I'm going to fall. <laughs> But then also prayer. You need a prayer. 
And then also the sacraments. I mean, as you say that the, 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 because the air also on Sundays used to go for, for mass. Then receive the, the sacrament, the Eucharist. So that was what I say, uh, help me to continue to say with you, my, 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 my intention to become a priest. And so we went to the minor seminary, we finished with all those, as I said, with those challenges. Even some of the boys, so they would bring girls, you know. But still, I, I was still determined. They say, I still want to become a priest. And I still want to be faithful. <laughs> so now, that's why also I know I tell young people <laughs> yes. that there are two things yes. for you to realize your dream. Sure, sure, sure. Self-discipline yeah. and determination. Correct. Yeah. The way you have said it. Correct, yeah. And for sure, mm. there is nothing great that can come easily. No. no when no, you look at struggle. it, uh -huh. uh, the way you said, yeah. when you didn't know exactly uh -huh. what the repast was mm, and I you see, were challenged by sure, the priest yeah, sure, sure, yeah. we have spiritual directors sure, sure, sure. exactly correct uh, yeah. and i don't know whether you have yeah. an experience with a spiritual director yes, yes. and know, at what time did you discover the importance of a spiritual director you see now when when you went to the okay for, okay now when you finished uh minor seminary at matunda 1964 then i was i told you that and then the father director was calling us one by one who wants to, to go ahead to, to continue with the seminary? <clears throat> so I think it's only, how many, maybe only two or three of us. Uh, but then also still they didn't make it. They, they, we, they said, no, let me go out first of all, uh, have a job, then later on I join the seminary. So, but then when I was asked, I said, no, I would still want to continue. So then we were sponsored by uh, Bishop Holyhan, the late of Eldoret. So I went to go to the, same, to the major seminary, St. Thomas Aquinas, 1965. And then we were the third class, because the seminary started in 1963. Archbishop of Koth, they were the first class. And even uh, the other, Monsignor Mutizo. Uh, I, I, maybe you didn't know John, Father John Nulkanga, he died. I maybe you have heard of him from Kisi. Yes, I have heard of him. Yeah, so those, those were the class. And then Father Cosmas, he's still, the, he still in Kakamega. And then in Father Makupio, in, 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 in Kisum. But then my classmate, also we had some, we were in the third class uh, to join St. Thomas Aquinas. So when I went there also, so they said also, no, you also, everybody there, when you come here to the seminary, you need to choose a spiritual director. Somebody who can also be able to journey with you. Also can, he cannot be able to advise him. You cannot be free, freely open, uh, share with him whatever problem you have. So, that, so that's why then I came across the, the importance of having a, a spiritual director in the major seminary. And it helped me a lot. It's the, true, because mm. we also realize that uh, mm. even from our cultures, sure, 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 yeah. we had uh, uh -huh. grandparents correct, correct, or yeah. some people who are yeah. senior correct, yeah. who kept accompanying sure, sure. any young sure, sure, person sure, sure. who seems to be guided. Sure, 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 yeah. And that's why in spiritual yeah. life, yeah, yeah. we also realize that uh, mm -hmm. having a spiritual director mm -hmm. will guide us sure, sure, to sure. know where to, sure, sure. to step go. Yeah. in a traveling this sure, journey sure. Yeah, that's right, to uh, grow in spirituality. That's right. Uh, but mm, uh, how mm. many people take it seriously in and this they, age? They don't, they very, very few. They don't see the value. I know St. <laughs> Teresa has written <laughs> yes. and says this, yes. if you get a, a good spiritual director, yeah, yeah, that's right. you are good <laughs> yes. and you can see your fulfillment sure, sure. in your vocation. That's right. Uh, yeah. But I don't want to think that they are bad spiritual director. <laughs> no. But I can say we may lack people who are committed sure, 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 in directing. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. So we, we joined uh, this uh, something I want to something interesting. So I have never been to Nairobi. So now I am moving. <clears throat> so the, my, my, my parish priest, he was very kind to me. Even even had given me the telephone. I never I never telephoned. Use the phone. You know the other <laughs> So now I take the ma okay my the, the, the matatu up to Nakuru, then from Nakuru up to Nairobi. Then he had uh, told me you, if you go to the basilica, you can if you ask for directions, then I'm sure that the father will direct you. So now I reach Nairobi, my my suitcase, as I was carrying uh, uh, the, the handle got uh, broken. <laughs> so I had to put it on my shoulder. Sorry. <laughs> Challenges of the city. Yes. <laughs> Were you carrying too much? Uh, yeah, but most it is only uh, nguo. But not some food stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so now I go up to the basilica. 
So then I ring the bell. So who opens? The cook. Then I said, I would like to see the father. So the father had only gone for his siesta. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so now I asked, what do I do now? So it told me, okay, maybe if you go to the post office, in the, I remember the main post office, in Nairobi, mm -hmm. then next to the yes. uh, basilica, maybe you might get someone who can ask you, 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 you can link and then to St. Thomas Aquinas. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I, I don't know even. So I went up to there, to the post office. Mm -hmm. And he said, now, now, there is the phone. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> From the rural. <laughs> so now, luckily, I got somebody. So I, I had my father, for, uh, the, my parents had given me the, 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 the telephone number of St. Thomas Aquinas. So, okay, we tried. We went through. Then the, 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 the brother, you know, we had Dominican fathers and brothers. And they answered the same night. So he answered. So he said, okay, if you are there, wait there, I'll come and collect you. Wow, so kind of him. Yeah, it was so very kind. So I so I'd go back to that to that to that to the cook where I led I led my my box. I said, Thank you very much. <laughs> and the father was in siest. <laughs> I could not wake him up. <laughs> so I went to the to the, to the post office. Then luckily brother came. And you know, with me I was calling you father. <laughs> I, would, I didn't know what, whether he was a priest. With me, I just saw that he was a, a priest. <laughs> I learned later on that he was a brother. <laughs> so you thought anyone in the seminary should be a priest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now we, we so that was 65 in, in, in the month of February. So I found they had started a started retreat. So I joined them. So now I had said that he, my father baptized me. When I was young, baby, dying. But then there was no information, records. So when I went to St. Thomas Aquinas, before any ministry, they had to make sure that we have all, you are baptized validly. So now, for that, I had to go uh, to, to, to Nairobi. I think there was a Monsignor, I forget whether it was the, the Monsignor. So they, they, they have to get me be baptized again. Condi oh. Conditionally. <laughs> yes, conditionally. So you, that's what you went through? Yes, I had to oh. go through that year at, at uh, St. Augustine, okay. at St. Austin. Mm -hmm. Then baptism and also confirmation. Wow. That was something in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now we, we start with the philosophy. There, there we had philosophy and theology together. There was no spiritual year. Everything was integrated, you know, that, that course. Then the, the, the problem it was now, in the class, father was speaking in English, but the notes were in, 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 in Latin. What? <laughs> the Latin you didn't like? Yes. Just catching up with yes. <laughs> So, uh, but then we, we, we continued with life. Then also it, it was good now you have to be, to know each other. And then you came from different, uh, different uh, diocese, <clears throat> from Kisumu, from Kisi, from Eldoret, from uh, oh, Meru, you know, we had Meru from Nyeri. We all, we all, we all mixed there. Uh, from Ranga, we all mixed from Nairobi, all mixed. And it was a very good, it was really a very good, uh, because you learn how to live with it, with that other, 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 uh, other tribes. Uh, I mean, it was really uh, very, uh, very good. So, so, living there together, then you have to be used, waking up. You know what I mean at the program? There is time for, for prayer in the morning to wake up very early. <laughs> then there is liturgy. And then after that, you have breakfast. Then from breakfast, then you, 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 you then also you are assigned for cleaning. I mean, the, 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 the utensils. We have the sisters of Kilimanjaro. They are the ones who are cooking for us, um, for, for, the, for the priest. They, they, they are the ones who are doing the work. But then you have to do the washing. So you are all assigned. You have to do the washing of all the dishes, then you prepare, either for breakfast, for lunch, and also for supper, which was a very good training. Then also we are given, uh, we are signed, whether you were sweeping the, 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 what, the, the corridors, the dining hall, uh, the, 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 the chapel, classrooms. Uh, then also every week we had uh, one day for Manuareba, and whether it's clearly cleaning there, also the shamba. The shamba there, we heard of a shamba where they used to grow vegetables. 
Then also games, yeah, whether it is football, some of us are very good for football, uh, or whether basketball, or volleyball, or even lawn tennis. Uh, so there are the various, we have, they were very, 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 very we had various uh, games. So that was also very good, you know. There wasn't siesta in the seminary? Uh, not very much, <laughs> not very much. So, so I, I found it, it was good to, to be able to mix with the different, uh, different students from different places. Then also, as I see that now, uh, also we have, we have to, as I said, we have to ask to be, each uh, student has to use, choose, choose his special director. Uh, so I, I chose one, uh, Father O'Connor, I think. So I used to go to him, uh, maybe I don't know, that maybe once a, once a week. Uh, so he's the one also who helped me. Maybe sometimes we have doubts uh, about my vocation, and then sometimes also maybe uh, one challenge. Uh, you see, uh, your clients they, they have decided to go, they have to leave. They want to, they have to leave the seminary. So uh, like I had a uh, very good friends from Kirogoya. We are very good friends, and then he told me that uh, I, this morning he said that Peter, I think I feel that I I, I don't want to continue. Um, I'm going back to, in the in the in the world. And he made me, because we are so very good friends, he made me share tears when he told me that he's going to the same day. So then I said, but how, how, how come, how, how? And, and most of them were the best, even academically. They were the best. <laughs> but then, you have, still, you have to go to the studio director. <laughs> now, what about my, there, there, there are some doubts. What do I do? But sit. No, you have to continue. If it is a, if God has given the vocation, you have to continue. So he's he, so he's also he or he but also to to help me, to encourage me, to go ahead. Then also other students whom we are, then also those who are ahead of us, as I said, uh, Bishop Okoth, uh, and then he, all those who are ahead of even Professor Anjoy. You know, he was the, they were ahead of us. I know, do you know him? Yeah. Uh, you know, you know him from uh, from from. Uh, from Odaya, <coughs> and then also another father, but he died also. Delphine uh, Moore, he died. He was among those class, the first class. And they were finished his eight. And he even came for him ordination. So all those, all those having also good friends, I think to also encourage you to continue to stay with, with, the, with the studies. Even in spite maybe of the others, maybe who discourage you, or maybe those who go out. And then also you have, like now for example, some of the friends, whom we were with in the minor seminary in Matunda, also because of his uh, illness, he was not he could not be able to go ahead to this. So he still made friends. So he went out. He joined the KCC. He was working with the KCC. Then he got married. And then I, they have four children. He used to, they used to come to the seminary to St Thomas Aquinas. So all those also also that was encouraging me very much. You know, no, no, you, you just go ahead. So even, I think even here, I've, maybe I've mentioned him <laughs> in the book. Yeah, that's what you are saying. <laughs> yes. And I'm looking at the life of the young people today mm. Mm. who sometimes get into challenges of life mm. and sometimes they don't mm. know yeah. what to do. Mm. Spiritual direction mm. is an old way sure, sure, sure. that uh, has worked, especially mm. in the church. Yeah. And uh, in the consecrated life, mm. what do you think that uh, people need to know about a good spiritual director? Yeah. What should they offer uh. to the people or what those people are outside there mm. struggling mm. need to know mm. that in a spiritual director they can find? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Just like even the, as you talk even about the family life or marriage. They also, you also need the friends who can also be able to, to you, whom you can be able to talk to. Uh, maybe in the marriage, you are getting married, then you start now having misunderstandings. You need to go to somebody who can be able to advise you, to give you counseling, somebody with experience. So the same also with the priesthood. That now when we, in the, in the spiritual life also, we need somebody with experience, and also who is committed in his vocation. A man maybe who is a, a man of faith, a man of prayer. A man also who has gone maybe through those changes. So that when he is speaking, he is speaking out of his own experience. And that's what also we need for the young people when they are outside there. 
I'm sure even sometimes in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the schools, maybe there is a, a chaplain or a priest who comes from us. So I think it's good for us that if somebody has got a, a problem, he can approach him and then he can be able to share because now even when you share, he is not going to, to share out whatever you, you shared with him because you are doing it in confidence. Just like in counseling. Also, I mean all those who got for those who are counselors and you hear a lot about yourself and then he's still able to encourage you because he has got that experience. And also God gives us the grace to be able to see how do we just say guide the people who come to us and they would like even to be better you know, in, in their life, maybe in their prayer life, and maybe in the, uh, even the spiritual life, of, for example, whether it is reading good books, or maybe let us say like the Bible. So we need those people, both in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the religious life or priesthood, but also also in the uh, family life. That okay. is very true, and yeah. uh, we know that's what the church teaches sure. that the family remains yeah, the yes, first school yeah, correct, yeah. to instruct yeah. the young ones sure, 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 yeah. and uh, when we fail to have that mm. and we fail in our institutions yeah, 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 yeah. you know yeah, yeah. then we don't have people who mm. have values sure, 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 and uh, kind of focus in life sure, 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 yeah, yeah. so getting into our spiritual life is yeah. something we cannot uh, let for granted yeah, yeah and now we want to move on and mm. let's hear yes after seminary yes you become my priest yes what kind of, when you were like uh, we talk about young priests yes you know full of energy yes <laughs> how was your young <laughs> age of priesthood okay so so i was okay so i was ordained <clears throat> first of all we had i, I had asked uh, bishop, uh, the late Emilio, he used to be the auxiliary bishop of uh, Eldoret. But then he went, when he was going home, he comes from Embu, near Samson Corner there, he had an accident. Sorry. So there was a road which was parked just beside the road. And he just went, and it was in the evening. And he Sorry. died there and there. So now, uh, our, um, Naku was made at house in 1968, but we didn't have a, a bishop. We had an administrator. So now Monsignor asked me now, who is going to ordain you now? Because now Bishop Emilia has died. Then I thought of Bishop Dinge. Mm -hmm. And he was the Bishop of Machakos. Mm -hmm. So when he went for his funeral, in the, I mean in the, in this Bishop Emilia at Kevote mm -hmm. in Embu, then we approached, I approached, we approached Bishop Dinge. And he agreed to come and ordain me from, wow. from, 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 from um, Machakos. So, so he came, uh, 24, uh, 8th of November, 1970. It was when I was a at, 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 at Moro. It was really a very happy occasion. It was very good being, being the first African priest. And even my, my father, before he finished the Mass, said, he, he has, there's something he wants to say before the end of the Mass. <laughs> he didn't know that uh, he could not say <laughs> something within Mass. Yes. He couldn't wait. Yes. So he came out, he saw, he told the people, you know when... When he, Peter had said he had a vocation, I had completely refused him to go to the seminary. But now I'm happy that Masaya had become a priest. <laughs> Congratulations. So, so, so I was very happy. So, okay, so, so when, okay, after ordination, then you, you should have given a, a, a holiday uh, for maybe almost a, almost a month. So I had a very good friend in Taita since we were in the main seminary. Uh, and uh, so, he, he, he because he was, he was suffering from his ears, he, he could not be allowed to go. He, he said he would like to be out for one year so that he can be able to be checked. Mm -hmm. Then he can come to the major seminary, which he did uh, later on, he joined later on. So he was a very good friend of mine. Yeah. So I decided to go there to, to, to Taita. Wow. <laughs> from my from my own. Did you travel to Taita? <laughs> yes, no. Wow. It was my first time. First time again. <laughs> Using a train, no? I, I, I don't forget now. Whether, no, no, I think it must be a bus. <laughs> <laughs> have to, have to Voy. Okay. Then from Voy, you, you, you take the Marukoni going, going to Taita. To Taita. Mm -hmm. uh, so up to there, up to, you know, it is very hilly. It's sure. very foggy and strange. So there we had, uh, the, the, father, the father was in charge. He was a um, oh, spirit son, Holy Ghost. Father, Father Cook. He died by now, now. So we, we had a little great day. 
going around to the parishes, saying mass for you know for Christians in different parishes, and even at home with the, the home of, the, of the, uh, this particular priest, he became also a priest. Um, so I was there. I was, it was really very. I really felt it. Really, it was very good there, yeah. and they gave us so many chicken. <laughs> Good memories. Yes. <laughs> the chicken lost life as you. <laughs> so I was very happy. So when I finished, then I went back to Nakuru. Then I was assigned at uh, the Church of the Holy Rosary in Nakuru. And I was, I was the only African priest. The rest were all in Irish, St. Patrick, Patrick Mission. Uh -huh. So the youngest, near, just as you ask me now, yeah, it, it is not also easy. Not, not easy. I mean, to be on the African. <laughs> There, you know, with the fathers there, the Irish, uh, uh, living together, eating together. Then also, we did not have, each did not have a car. We used to share. Wow. Yeah. So, then also, there was something interesting also. I didn't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> when I was, I became Deacon Nairobi, I tried a few times, but I failed. I failed. I could not get the license. So then I went to Nakuru, then I said, I better try again. So father took me to the, to the, to the train, I mean, to the, the, the one who was the inspector, you know, police inspector. Yeah. So VW, uh, the Beetle, mm -hmm. that's what I was using. <laughs> and see, you know, with the Beetle, you have to turn a bit the steering, mm -hmm. so that now the, the, the ignition can't start. Okay. So because of shaking, mm -hmm. fear, <laughs> I could not. <laughs> so he said, Oh, you have failed. <laughs> and that's how you... That's, that's the end. <laughs> oh, no. So at book again. <laughs> so, drive, you know, start at the table. You know, the, you start with yeah. the table. Uh, then from there, then drive. <laughs> so this time, I was able to, to, to start the car. You never gave up. Uh, you never gave up. <laughs> so then we drove outside the rivers, three point turn. Let us go back. He said, I, you have passed. Wow, so I was, yeah, I was really very happy now to feel now I can Did do it. To, <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so now, as I was saying that we, were sh we used to share, <clears throat> because now we did not have four cars, maybe only two, and we were maybe four. So what we used to, to, to do, we were also given assignment, visiting the schools for pastor. So you know when you take the car, how long you, the, the class will last, then you bring you have to bring bring back the car in time so that you are, you are, you are, you are your colleague will take the car so uh, so it was very good yeah so I was really very happy because now our parish priest the one who was also at Moro he was transferred to Nakuru wow. <laughs> so he was our parish priest <laughs> you were like to have the one who tested yes. you asked whether you would make it in Serupes yes. and now he's there yes. experiencing yes. life with you yes. in Serupes yes. <laughs> So anyway, we, we, we so I so I was there for for not, not not for a long time. So I really enjoyed even let us visiting the sick, in the hospital. Then also Jumuya. Then also we had Legion of Mary. You know when you uh, to, to to be as a special director for Legion of Mary. So it was really very good. I, I really I really, I really loved it very much. You know, really I enjoyed my my my, my apostolate. Very happy now. But then. Then Bishop Dingi was transferred from <laughs> Machakos to Nakuru, 71. So he became a bishop. <laughs> How did you receive him? We were very happy. We had a great yeah, a celebration there at Nakuru Day <laughs> Secondary School. Then 72, next 72, he said, no, I would like to send you to study for studies. Oh, the same college where he went, St. John Fisher College in Rochester, New York. So he did all the, organ uh, the, the arrangements. Then he, 72, I think it was maybe around what? Well, it was August, or, or maybe after Easter, because then he, he they wanted me to pass via Irad. This is now the priests, whom are even now our parish priests, where he came, they came from, even their family members, which was also very good. So I went in there, we, and then, then to go to my first time to fly. <laughs> <laughs> to another new country? Yes. <laughs> with new culture? Yeah, then, then, then what I mean, in, in England, UK, I, I, I stayed with one of the houses there. Then I didn't know, it's called Slough. I don't know why this place was. So he went to one of the Kiltigan police. But when he reached London, he left me. 
he, with him was going, he was flying to, to Dublin. Then I didn't know, what do I do now here? <laughs> I'm a stranger. <laughs> I don't know where this place is. But Father Kani also, my, 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 he had given me the address. So what I did, I had to use the taxi. <laughs> so I gave him the, <laughs> the address. So I drove me all the way up to the <laughs> slough. <laughs> so I stayed there for a few days with them. Then from there I flew from London to, to Dublin. And then, I, I, then I was able to visit, even to go to their seminary where they started, Kiltigan. Then I stayed with them, then I visited all the, um, some of the priests who, who, who are with, we are working with them in Nakuru. And then from Shannon Airport, then it is when I flew to, to New York. Reaching there and there also, the, the father was supposed to meet me at the airport. I don't see him. What do I do? <laughs> I take a taxi. The tax man does not wear this house. You have to cross the bridge uh, to go to New Jersey. He had to go round, round, round. Then started having headache. So like then we went to, to, to ask from the petrol station. He said, no, it is not very far. It is just there, there. So luckily, we went there and we reached. And then I was having a headache. I had to go and rest. Then the father said, ah, I waited for you. I did not see you. So I, <laughs> he came back. So and from there, then I, I went to, I flew to St. John Fisher in Rochester. Then I was there for two, two years, uh, taking, uh, I was very, I wanted to study psychology. But then I went to class, because there were multiple choices, I could not do it. <laughs> I failed most of my exams. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so and what did you end up doing? So then, the, your question you ask now, so they had also given us a, a counselor, huh? Uh -huh. around uh, advisor, you know, mm -hmm. just a, um, academic like, advisor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I went to him and then, what do I do now here? Now I came, when I came here, I wanted to do uh, psychology mm -hmm. so that I can be able to guide the people, mm -hmm. you know, and now I'm not doing well. Then he asked me, which other subject are you doing well? So I said, uh, religious studies and sociology. So then he said, okay, why don't you take uh, religious studies as your major and sociology as your minor? So that's what I did. For two years I finished. Then uh, I went back to, to Nakuru via IRAD. And then if there I was assigned, lay apostolate and vocation director for two years. So, uh, so they also was very good, maybe going to, uh, to meet various people. Uh, even Father Gatam, who is at the uh, the one who is now the Bishop Kiragircho. So we, we went to his home looking for vocations. That I, even, even Bishop Dominic. So, so that was a very good, going to places, looking for vocations, so that was very interesting. And you are talking about you got involved in looking for vocations. Mm. What was the major challenge in this? Marriage. Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, you know, in Baringo, yeah. in Baringo now, yeah, they, have the, also, they have the kids, the tradition, very uh -huh. strong. So how to 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 go this and don't get married, but God blessed us. We had some vocations, but it was not very easy for the parents to agree to allow their sons to go to the seminary and to become priests. And we have we lost many many of them left when we were in minor seminary who had come from Baringo, where where Bishop Bishop Kimigich comes from Kituro. Many we lost most of them were. Bishop, you mm. also did this, and I believe you did enjoy. Yes. Now that uh, you kept struggling all yes. through, yes, yes. but there is the beauty of it. Mm. You became a victor. Yes. Tell us when you got to be elevated to become a bishop. Yeah. How was your experience? Did you see it coming when you got into it? How did you? So I, I, I never thought that I would become a bishop. So I think it was Holy Week. When Bishop Dingy called me, I think I don't know, yeah, it was a Holy Thursday or Good Friday. And told me, uh, Pope John Paul, this, uh, now the saint, has appointed you to become the new Bishop of Moranga. <sighs> it was a shock. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, you have to think about it. Maybe you can ask, maybe you have some prayer you can consult. So I said, okay, fine. So I had to, I came all the way to Nairobi. I had one priest who was a consulator, Bibiko, he was teaching the Bible. But he, he, when I went to the consulator house, Westlands, he had already gone to, 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 to Italy. 
And what do I do now? And I'm asked to give an answer. So then I went to, luckily, I went to his eminence, uh, Maurice Otunga, at that time. So then he asked me, then he went to the also then. Uh, so I'd come to the point, you see now, uh, your eminence, I've been appointed to be the new bishop of Muranga, and I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> what is this vocation? I don't know. I don't feel uh, confident. So he told me, you see my son, to be a bishop, is a vocation, and it's a call. It is God call, who calls. Don't refuse. <laughs> when once the, the his eminence advised me, then I went to the nuncio, and then from there I went back to Nakuru. Uh, so then from there, then uh, I have to come and see Bishop Gatimu, who was the bishop of, of, of um, um, uh, Nyeri. Anyway, he organized. Then he had the, 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 the consecration at Muranga. Uh, to, uh, to the third of May, 18, 18, 1983. So we started life. But then no house for one year. <laughs> no office. There was a small office there. So it was, it was, it was very difficult even to start with. The, no infrastructure. Then even vocations. We had to try to encourage parishes to, 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 to divide them. So it, then also one charity was about starting the Nini. Sister Sir Emmanuel, you know the Sister Emmanuel in Muranga. It was very difficult because I, I have no vocation. Then uh, be, be, the Father Magari, Sister Magari, the late, he was a Jesuit, he's one who helped me a lot, discerning where they have vocation before I could start. So that was a very difficult. Then I started then, uh, our newsletter. Uh, uh, um, then it was banned by the government that it was become too political, <laughs> you know. And then you, Father Kamoro, one of the priests from Moranga, he was arrested. They had a demonstration. So then our paper has been banned. Let us have a demonstration. Ah, but then, you know, she was used at the time of uh, the, uh, the Moise regime. <laughs> they were picked up and put. <laughs> and I tried to go there to appeal, to, to appeal for them to be, at least to be allowed to go out, uh, to be on bail. Then they can go. They refused. So we used to go to court to Moranga several times. So it took some time before that. So when they banned this one, we started a new one. <laughs> Which is even still nice to, to still working. So those are some of the challenges. And the, even that's a tale. But then also we used to have a, a, a mass for, with the youth. Especially before that, I say, before Easter. Uh, Palm Sunday, which was also very good, and courage for the youth, and even one of the priests also working with the with the with the, with the youth, and I was staying with him. So th that was also a very good time that we could also be able to meet together with them, and then also encourage them whenever they have a, a meeting or harm a mass, they invite me and also encourage them to be able to, to be good uh, youth, Catholic youth, Christians. <laughs> <laughs> so so in brief, then from there it was when I was transferred to Nakuru. When Bishop Dingi was, tra uh, the, the, um, uh, was transferred from Nakuru to when Kano Otunga uh, retired. So in 1966, Dingi was sent to Nakuru and Nairobi became the archbishop. So then I am uh, transferred <laughs> from Mamranga back them. home. Back home. And no, you know, we say no prophet is acceptable At home. in our own home. <laughs> I hope the reception was good. <laughs> yes, but then you know also Bishop Dick was very good. He, he's up, he, he, I think he studied polit political science uh, at St. George Fish. Th so there he was able to handle even all those. Uh, it was during the time of Moi, you know, the regime. And it was not very easy, but he was, well, he was there for 25 years. <laughs> How do I fit in his shoe? <laughs> I'm not a politician. <laughs> but anyway, through the grace, God, God's grace, we, we try to work together with the, the Christians, even during the time of crisis. In the 97, 2002, and the worst one was 2008, when we lost Father Michael Kamau. He was killed. Oh, yeah. He was killed. Then it was during the time of Father Kaiser, as he was, his body was found near Naivasha there. Yeah. So those were so many David challenges. But then we had to go. And that's the reason why we started the radio, a man in Nakuru, which now is working, to, to bring peace among the people. <laughs> then from that, when I went to the nuncio, then I said, yes, I accept. Wow, you did accept. <laughs> and you were appointed. Yes. You took his call. Yes. You lived it. You served. Yes. And only later, yes. what knocked in your door? Yes. 
Archbishop. Yes. How did you feel about it? <laughs> and then from there, then, then I, we come now here. So from Nakuru then, uh, Cardinal Jue, he was there, Kerima, Kerima died. Yes, so the Archbishop. Then uh, Jue was the uh, coadjutor. So he was supposed to take over. And then when uh, Dingi retired, it is when Cardinal uh, Jue, um, Archbishop Jue, was transferred to, to Nairobi. Then I'm, call, I'm called <laughs> to come to Nyeri. <laughs> so then there was 14th of June 19, 2008. It is when I came here. So I've been here for those years, trying also to serve the people of God. Also, we used to have, used to have the, the, the mass with the youth on Palm Sunday. And we, we, whenever they had our meeting, also we tried to, to encourage them. And then also visiting some of the schools. We used to visit schools, and then we, if they have mass, or maybe I talk to them. It was very good, even like even uh, TTC, uh, Kamweja, and also also Nini Nyeri High. Oh, my, we, we several so we have like, Gado, you know, some of music, and even also having sacraments with, with the youth. It was very good. I really, I really enjoyed. And then the marriages for for the couples, you know. And then sometimes you know you used I used to be a member of the marriage encounter, you know. We, I am too. <laughs> Very really good. So that's also helping the couple. It is it is just a one way we can be able to help the, the couple to deepen their, their 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 vocation of marriage. So that even when they they, they are problems, they're able to listen to each other. Then also dialogue and live. You know that that, that with this dialogue. So so that also helped me to, to, to help the people to listen. Let us say to to the people without judging them. Then you can be able to help to give them the right advice to them. It is great that you mm. are narrated your story which mm. is powerful yes. and very inspirational mm. to any young person yeah and we look at it quickly yeah. that uh, you started struggling yes. from swollen hands yes. <laughs> to keeping focus yes. to the highest we will see yes. of you yes. as an archbishop yes. and you retire as an archbishop yes now in your retirement yes. what is that one thing you can look and say I treasure it mm -hmm. because I learned it from mm -hmm. my early age. Mm -hmm. So the one, 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 one of the things that I can be able to say that I have really treasured, first of all, the, 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 the teacher who talked to us about the, about the priesthood. Because of how I got the idea. So I'm really very happy to him. Uh, from Kagamega, uh, Malim Roman Machete. So I'm really very happy. Secondly, uh, my parish priest. He really did a lot for me. And he was tough, but in a good way. We always appreciate him for even encouraging, uh, supporting, even going to his, you know, to his home in Nairad, meeting his, his uh, brothers, home where he was born, you know. So I was very good. Uh. And then also, uh, good friends. Like even like, like even those who I say who, are, who who I told you that some of them were in the seminary, uh, then they, 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 some of them left, uh, some of them got married, and still we are still friends and we visit each other, we encourage each other. They are married, I am a celibate. We respect each other. So this also I also appreciate that having good friends who will respect you and you respect them and you pray even for for one another. So that that's what has been let us say very good here. And then also I mean. Uh, the, 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 the missionaries, uh, they, they have really done a lot, a lot of work also. Even here in the Consolata Fathers, like Father Baudena. Even, to, for example, now, the beatification of uh, Bless Irinyada, uh, preparing for that ceremony. And the support that we got, both from the, from the Christian and from the government, because uh, through Uhuru, we got a lot of support. We could not be it on, on our own. It gives me pride. Because all those, I am living. Then all those, the, the ordinations that we have been uh, having so many of being ordained, more than 70 priests which are ordained, religious, those who have made their profession, uh, brothers, then confirmation. Uh, I become happy. I, I feel happy. <laughs> I would like to continue. Even after I, I retire, I still become happy. Continue, let us say, serving wherever I'm, my, I am requested as a priest. I'm happy. And that's why I want to be grateful to you yes. for having this sharing mm. with the young people. Yes. One thing I know, mm. there are so many out there you have inspired. Yes. Yeah. As you said, yeah. the teacher who talked about 
being yeah. a priest yeah. Yeah. as one option. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm writing a book currently, okay. The Three Options for okay. a Catholic Faithful. Uh -huh. And where I say uh -huh. about marriage, yeah. consecrated life, yes. and single life. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And what you have just said, yeah, yeah. it's about knowing your vocation, sure. remaining faithful. Sure, 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 Give yeah. us one word for yeah. the young person you yes. want to yes. hear you say it yes. and leave yes. for them to fulfill their life dream. <laughs> yes, so one word that I would like to encourage them, it is good for them to consult. It is also good for them to persevere in life. Even where there are challenges, even where the studies are difficult, still they can make it. If, for example, uh, if I give an example, like he, if you allow me to, to quote uh, Obama, when he, before he became president, and he's, he's, he's a lawyer, and his wife is also a lawyer, and he, he, he didn't think that the first black American to become a pre president of America, <laughs> it was not easy. <laughs> no, it is not easy. I've been there, I know. Uh, he explained this, where there's so much discrimination, but he made it. And not only for the first time, he also went for, for, to his second time. Uh, his motto was, yes, we can. So with the determination and the grace of God, your dream can become a reality. But then you have to be ready to persevere. Whatever challenges they come, be ready to, 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 to persevere. And as you pray that God will give you grace and also have good friends who can also be able to encourage you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Archbishop, mm. for this message for young people. Yeah. I feel encouraged yes. and I see, yes, we don't talk about life yeah. being that <laughs> tough, yeah. but when toughness comes, yes. we don't lose our yeah. focus. Yeah. It's a grace that God gave yes, you That's to right. serve all those years. Sure, sure, yeah. I want also to look forward mm. to encourage young people mm. that we don't need to look at our life to retirement, mm. but let us look our lives beyond retirement mm even beyond this life yes and because we have our bishop here yes, it, yes. we want to ask him to bless you yes. all who yes. are watching yes father son the holy spirit amen god our father i thank you for this morning you're giving us to be together with father dennis we thank you what we are shared about the, the, the vocation to become a priesthood we ask to bless the young people either in the primary in the circle at the university as they continue with their studies, may you bless them. And may you also give the grace that whenever challenges they come across, may they be able to overcome them through the grace of God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much to us. Sir.